Hi, my name is Monica Yearwood and I am the founder of Hamsa Ayurveda and I want to share with you today some of my favorite essential oils that I like to use in my anti-aging blends. Um, essential oils contain really amazing um, chemicals to them that do um, extraordinary things for the skin. Um, certainly essential oils smell amazing, um, but they also have specific effects um, based on their chemical structure and those effects can uh, be really beneficial for skin ailments. So um, when we're thinking about anti-aging and the skin, we want to first think about how we're living our lifestyles and make sure that we're following kind of an anti-aging regimen. Um, Ayurveda calls anti-aging um, therapies Rasayana, and the word Rasayana means the path of juice. So we follow the path of juice to rejuvenate our own internal juice, juices, our essence, our virility, our vigor. And there are certain lifestyle practices that we can do to help with restoring and maintaining that juice, like getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, um, exercise, being in harmonious and loving relationships, um, eating specific foods. So. Ayurveda says there are certain foods that help to increase our own rasa or our own essence and those foods are things like ghee, um, soaked and peeled, almonds, uh, water and raw honey. So making sure that those yummy, sweet, sticky foods are in our diet in moderate amounts can help to maintain our inner essence. And also making sure that any um, major cause of our individual degradation is removed so as much as we possibly can. Um, sometimes chronic stress cannot be avoided, uh, but what can be done is we can, in equal measure to the amount of stress that's placed on us, um, is to rejuvenate the body. So if we're undergoing more stress than usual, then we can do a little bit more rest than usual. Massage, just laying on your back in corpse pose or savasana posture, making sure you're really eating well, um, meditating, etc. So once we've done as much as we can do to look at the internal drivers of um, the early aging process, because aging is a natural function of life, right? But we're really looking at premature aging or we're looking to um, age well and to age in a healthy way. So once we're doing as much as we can uh, to make sure that that's happening in a really comfortable way, as comfortable as possible, we can look to then apply things topically to the skin. So when I look at essential oils for um, anti-aging, I look for essential oils that help to stimulate collagen production and um, two of my favorite essential oils for doing that are um, the beloved rose essential oil and ambrit seed essential oil. Most everybody has heard of the rose. Um, in Ayurveda, the rose is regarded as the queen of flowers. So she is the queen. She has the, the highest frequency of all of the other essential oils. She restores bhakti or devotion, love, in the heart. She imparts clear vision. Um, she gives contentment and joy. She also contains a high amount of farnesol. And farnesol is a chemical that's in um, both rose essential oil and in ambrit essential oil that has been clinically proven to stimulate collagen production in the skin. Um, other essential oil that I like to use in my blends that also has a lot of farnesol in it is frankincense. And frankincense essential oil is, is like, you use frankincense essential oil in almost anything that ails you. Uh, frankincense just has this amazing um, ability to relieve physical pain, it's anti-inflammatory, it balances oil production on the skin, at the same time it helps the skin stay hydrated, um, so it's really good for reducing the appearance of wrinkles on the skin that are developing because of dehydration, which is a really, really, really common cause of um, wrinkling of the skin, simply not drinking enough water. So. Um, Another favorite of mine is carrot seed essential oil. And carrot seed essential oil has a lot of carotenoids in it, naturally. 
um, and vitamin A, or vitamin A, it's the same thing. So vitamin A, um, or retinoids, are used in a lot of pharmaceutical grade um, skincare products for enhancing skin cell turnover, because as we get older, um, our skin cell turnover rate starts to slow down. Um, and as it slows down, our skin starts to wrinkle. So you have to do something manually to help with increasing the skin cell turnover. So using some kind of an exfoliant, um, we have something called Oopton available on our site, which we use as an exfoliant to aid the skin cell turnover. Um, and another thing is retinoids. Um, so you can use a pharmaceutical grade retinoid. Unfortunately, a lot of those have side effects like drying and peeling of the skin or you can use things like carrot seed oil, which has it naturally in there, um, and you can use in your natural skincare products. Another favorite of mine is sandalwood essential oil, which sandalwood essential oil has amazing spiritual enhancing benefits to it. It opens the third eye, it's used in a lot of different spiritual practices, but it's also really powerful at ma maintaining um, hydration of the skin. It's like hyaluronic acid. Um, so it helps to maintain hydration. It holds the water in the tissues. As with all essential oil blends, you want to make sure that it's diluted. So most essential oils are not safe to put directly on the skin. You want to make sure it's diluted in a base oil. So usually in the anti-aging regimens, we use heavier oils as our base oils because many of those heavier oils um, have higher amounts of fatty acids in them and act as a more powerful nutrient for the skin. So heavier oils include things like pomegranate seed oil, rosehip oil, um, and sea buckthorn. So those three are really great. Um, if somebody has oil, excess oil production on their skin though, those would be oils you probably want to stay away from and you would want to just rely mostly on the components of the essential oil blend instead of your base oil. So using uh, almond oil or jojoba or grapeseed oil would make a nice base for somebody that has congested skin or excess oil production on their skin. And you can dilute that anywhere from a 3 to a 7% dilution. So your essential oils would make up 3 to 7% of your total blend. You can also experiment with things like raw shea butter, raw coconut butter, um, and raw cacao butter as your, as your base if you don't want to use an oil on your skin. So I hope that you find this information helpful to you on your path and on your natural skincare regimen. And thank you so much for your time today. Namaste.